How's it going everyone? I'm Fargast. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be going over the uh, new information that was posted on Serenade's Forest about the more news on the Cinder Shadows DLC for Three Houses. Uh, just like before when we did a video, when I did a video like this, it's going to be mostly about uh, my first impressions on it. And uh, yeah, so there's two things I want to go over. One was kind of talked about a couple days ago and one was and one came out earlier today. Feel a little congested today. Got my cough relief medicine, so if, I'll just need you guys to bear with my hoarse voice as I read through uh, these articles. So this was on January 17th, so I'm a little late to the party here. Um, <clears throat> first thing it talks about, Cinder Shadows is separate from the main game with its own save files. To play it, you must uh, choose a new side story option located in the eShop, and they kind of show pictures here, which is kind of neat. Um... I, uh, I, it's kind of like what, what I would have thought would happen, but also not really. So it says in the main game, players followed a monthly routine, uh, where they were taught and socialized with their students while preparing for the end of month task. However, in Cinder Shadow, we'll have a different gameplay cycle. No details given just yet. Um, we'll have fixed team members and we won't be able to recruit other students. Furthermore, the maps will feature a lot of gimmicks and the overall difficulty is a bit higher in the main game. Uh, not mentioned here, but playing side story, you can recruit characters from the side story in the main game. So that's, so there's a couple of things here, I think from what I'm understanding. Uh, we do know that now those, like the fixed recruitment is going to be Ash, Linhart, and Hilda, which we'll talk about in that, in that second article there. Once you play the side story, you can actually recruit them for the main game, which is solid. Um... And so, like we got details before, uh, the story occurs in part one of the main game. Just when the students are getting accustomed to academy life, it begins with the protagonist, the three house leaders, and a few students follow a suspicious figure into the monetary's basement. Beyond the tunnels, they discover a town called Abyss. Oft spoken in rumors, Abyss is the last refuge for those who wish to escape society. For some reason, the Church of Seros has reluctantly allowed the Abyss and its denizens to exist. Then it talks about the official art for Yuri, Constance, Balthus, and Happy. And then uh, some other screenshots from the website, and we and we already talked about the crests and whatnot as well. I guess my first question is, if this takes place in part one, and part one is like 13 chapters, um, then I wonder if like this side story is going to be like uh, maybe like 10 chapters long. That kind of seems like a standard amount of chapters to go through. So like jumping off that, and then we jump into the other confirmed students for Cindered Shadows and new official artwork with Linhart, Ash, and Hilda. Um, basically like now for, well, what's cool is that we get official artwork for these characters finally. And then in the Smash Byleth reveal, we did get a teaser for other characters. We have Dorothea, uh, In uh, uh Ingrid, Sedith. So a few other characters there. We have Rhea and then we have some other stuff. So hopefully the official art gets out. I mean, I guess there's a, there might be a story explanation as to why Linhart, Ash, and Hilda are like these three characters. It kind of seems like a weird bunch of characters to pick. Um, these are fixed members. So this is going to total for the protagonist. So Byleth, the three leaders, four members, and then plus three other students, which means we have one, two, three, four, and then eight, and then 11. So like 11 total students that are playing in this mode. Um, so a peculiar, peculiar set. I mean, I, I'm really curious as to see why they picked these three. Uh, Linhart is very into like Crestology. So maybe he's like the most suited for this job. Ash likes to read a lot. Um, maybe he's heard of the legend. And then we hear Hilda talking about uh, the Cinder Shadows Abyss stuff in, uh, in the actual an announcement trailer. So, um, at least their art is cool, so that's pretty neat. And that's basically all we have so far. Um, so not a lot of stuff. I guess the biggest question I have now is how long this is going to be, but they're just going to talk, they're just going to announce this later. I'm not going to try to speculate too much on why these three characters were selected, but I guess they want to talk about these three. So it's nice if you're a fan. I know there's a lot of Ash fans out there. Um, so, you know, and people kind of like shit on Ash a little bit they say that he's kind of a boring character. So I guess spotlighting him is going to be really like a, a pretty vid, pretty great validation for Ash uh, fans. Uh, or if, if you guys might have thought, okay, why these three and not like Hubert and Nadu? I imagine it's because they want to have like a diverse cast that you play with in this mode. And in that case, um, it would be kind of hard to justify to do with uh, Balthus in the same kind of field. They do they do effectively the same thing. 
um, especially for part one, if this takes place in part one. Same thing with Hubert. It'd be kind of redundant to have Hubert and Happy. They're both dark magic users. They're both squishy. Um, Ash would be like your dedicated archer that you have on this run. Um, Hilda would be like your offensive axe user that's kind of squishy, but has good offensive growths and potential. And Linhart maybe is just going to be like, Linhart and Happy have very similar spells. Um, they both learn all the spells at the same time, basically. Um, but like Happy is kind of more combat oriented. Constance is more anima magic oriented. And Linhart would be like the third healer on this, on this, on this roster. Has the highest res growth between all, or has this, is tied for the, uh, highest res growth, but I think you might have a higher base res than Happy does or Constance does. But I think that might, might have been the justification for why these three characters in particular were. Um, like I said, it'd be kind of redundant to have Dudu and Balthus be on the same team. Like, okay, you don't need that much stocky tankiness. And then Hubert and Happy, which is kind of the same idea. Like, we don't need two dark magic users that are really squishy. Um, probably something else. This is something else worth mentioning as well. Uh, the four DLC characters can support uh, with the characters that are also going to be fixed recruited. Uh, Balthus can support with Claude, Hilda, and Lysithia. Uh, Constance can also support with Edelgard, Ferdinand, and Mercedes. And Happy can also support with Dimitri, Ash, and Linhart. So, um, yeah, we have Linhart being able to support with Happy. We have Ash being able to support with Happy. And then we have... Uh, um, Balthus able to support with Hilda. So those three characters are there. Although Lysithia, Ferdinand, and Mercedes are also there. Um, but I guess they're not, they weren't picked <laughs> for these characters. But yeah, that also might be a reason too. Like they want to have characters that can be, that can support with these, with these four as well. But I don't know. I think, I think it, it probably has a little bit to do with that, but then you'd have to be like, okay, well then why does Mercedes and then why does Ferdinand type deal? But I don't know. We'll see. Guys, that's about it. I just wanted to make a quick uh, video talking about this. Um, how about that smash reveal, right? Oh my goodness. Man, people got mad at that. Day by day, maybe week by week, we learn more about the Ashen uh, Wolves DLC, that kind of thing. Um, my question for you guys is what role do you think these three characters are going to play uh, in the upcoming DLC? And my second question is who are you most excited to use from the Ashen Wolves? With that being said, folks, I'm going to take a nap and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.